again. You know He's done it. Again. That is a fact. You fucking little bastard. He Hello, everyone. It's me, Connor, your Sean Dash enthusiast. Now, I wanted to make a video about the current situation with Klopp name dropping Burnley in his recent press conference. Uh, I have a few problems with it. So, A, I'm going to get hopefully plenty of views from this mentioning Klopp. Uh, and B, I, I have a, quite an issue with it, really. Um, so we'll go into that in the video. First of all, I just want to say I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I know for a fact I did. Um, so I'm a very happy man at the minute. Um, but I, it was ruined. It was absolutely ruined by Jurgen Klopp. He ruined my Christmas because he came out and he made a comment about Burnley and how, you know, how I'm supposed to enjoy my Christmas knowing that Klopp thinks that we have an advantage over Liverpool. I, I don't know. Um, I'm absolutely livid, quite frankly. Um, that's sarcasm, by the way. I had a great Christmas. So first of all, I just want to say I completely understand what Klopp is talking about, the whole COVID situation, injuries. I understand that around this sort of time of the year, it's really bad for a lot of the top clubs. Um, but to name drop Burnley, I think he's going to be all wrong. Um, not that I'm complaining because you're here and I'm making a video about it. But it's it's poor to name a club. I understand that he could have said an example like Burnley um, might not have had as many internationals as Liverpool. But we have seven internationals in our squad. We're losing Maxwell Corner in January, which... Again, I made a video about it. It's breaking my heart, personally. Um, might as well come back, please. Um, but, yeah, to name drop Burnley is very poor, I think. And it's it's kind of a low blow. There's no need to mention a certain club. You could say anyone from the bottom half. You didn't need to name a specific club. I feel like that was irresponsible, really, for a manager. that He knows he's not going to get anything said back to him because that's that's... Klopp's world at the minute, he can say whatever to referees and whatnot, and there's no backlash to it at all. And can we please, please, please put a cap on this five subs rule? I don't know where it's come from, I don't know why it, it is even a thing being mentioned. It only benefits the top six clubs, and that's just a fact. Because they've got all these injuries and they might lose the odd game, it's not fair that all the other clubs in the league are at a disadvantage. Now, we mentioned, obviously, the 14 club rules, which I completely understand why they're there. Because even if, say, a Norwich comes up once every year or so, they still have a right to be in that discussion about what's going on in the league, what games need to be cancelled, because it's affecting them. Um, so for him to sort of say that it's not fair, I mean, they have the option to go to the Super League. He didn't want to be a part of the Super League he's chose to be in the Premier League, then you have to abide by the rules. That's just how it works. You can't go around just complaining constantly, but, you know, when push comes to shove, you can leave at any time. If you really can't stand the fact that you have to play a couple of extra games during the Christmas period, then go. It's simple as that, really. Um, you can look at an example uh, I've got here. Last night, Newcastle versus Manchester United. It was a pretty bloody good game, if I do say so. Um, United would run ragged, right? And and realistically, you know, they've they've had their issues with COVID, etc. Um, but so have, so have, as, as every other club in the country at the minute, that's that's what's going on. Um, but Newcastle were brilliant. But I feel like if you, for instance, United used all three of their substitutions for the game, if you were then to add an extra two substitutions to that. United could bring on somebody creative like Donny van der Beek and then suddenly, you know, there might be a different outcome to the game which wouldn't have been fair on Newcastle who, if you look at their bench compared to United's, there's a bit of a difference in class really which I'm sure a lot of Newcastle fans would agree with. So an idea to sort of resolve this whole substitutions thing that would be best of both worlds would be, say, we keep the three subs but we have an extra sub in case of a severe head injury or a leg break, or something like that, where the player literally cannot continue. Now, you could say, well, what if they make all three subs and someone fakes it? Well, you could pretty simply say, well, if that player is severely injured and needs to come off the pitch, he can't play in the next game. 
Although, if you did break your leg and you wanted to play the next game, I don't think that's possible. Uh, from experience, I know that. Um, but that's just one of my ideas. Um, it's why I'm a YouTuber and not working for the FA. Now, Chris wanted to have his say on the issue that's going on with Klopp, name dropping Burnley. Uh, he said he had quite a lot of sort of stuff to get off his chest. So I'll just hand it over to him really quickly and then we'll come back and wrap up the video. Yes, I thought I'd get in on the video just to say a quick little message to Jurgen Klopp. Ashley Barnes is still living in your head rent free. I know you're still mad that we broke. Your undefeated, you know, streak at home. You still have a, or like, I don't know, maybe Sean Dyche beat you up and you're still a bit scared, but you have still some agenda against Burnley. And I don't know why, but honestly, look, focus on your own team. That's what you should be doing. We here, uh, we get on with it, we move. That's all we do. And we will be trying our best you know we've still got a lot of games to play look you have more games yes because you're in europe so don't try and think that you are something special you are one of the most you know you have the, uh, the most amount of money you know you are a very wealthy team with some of the best players on the pitch you can afford to have your reserves play in a premier league match not like us you know what i mean so it's just different levels and um, you know, the little digs at us and the little complaints. How easy do you want it to win the league? How easy do you want it to win everything? So it seems like you just want to walk in the park, mate. And that just isn't going to happen. Well, I hope it doesn't happen. Right. OK. Well, that was really insightful. I'm sure whatever he's just said um, is completely non-controversial. Um, and I'm sure Liverpool fans are going to understand where he's coming from. So I only wanted to make a short video on this. I don't know how long it's gone on for. I'm so sorry for waffling. Um, I'm very good at doing that. Um, it was just something that top six fans and, you know, I've seen a lot of it all over Twitter and the managers coming out and saying stuff like that does not help the situation. But yeah, that's all. That's all I'm going to say on it. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm always interested to know what other people think. Even if you're a Liverpool fan and you think, gonna think of me after this video um but put it in the comments i just want to i'll respond to a couple of them and, and we can open a dialogue about it because if you feel like well yeah there should be five substitutions and and stuff i want to understand why um so yeah get in the comments give this video a like uh if you can give it a subscription follow whatever you call it that'd be great um youtuber so that's great. Hope you'll have a good new year. Um, plenty of resolutions. Mine is to stop waffling in videos. So we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, I hope you have a great new year and I'll see you next year.